Listen, we need to get this out there. The guy that Amanda has made this podcast with is not a scientist. He's a sociopath. One day we moved in together. I went out of town and he sacrificed my dog's life on a live tin to a blood moon and left the moment that I got into the security footage because he knew there was videos of him doing it on there. Hi everyone. Welcome to Amanda Bynes and Paul Simmons for the podcast. Amanda Bynes just signed up to do a podcast with a man who has been lying about his career, claiming he's a scientist. He also practices Satanism. And now I don't judge any religious beliefs, but this guy Paul went as far as to sacrifice his roommate's dog, all because it was a blood moon. Amanda's friend is a danger to society and a danger to her well-being. So let's get into it. Honestly, this is not the Amanda Bynes update that I was expecting. I mean, I don't really know what I was anticipating, but not a podcast with a man who killed his former friend and roommate's dog. This story is so bizarre. I had to like process it for a little bit because I cannot understand why someone I mean, there is no reason why someone would go and kill an innocent animal like this monster would. And now Amanda is appearing back on social media again. And next to this creep, I I mean, I don't think she's in a good place if she's hanging around people like this. Keep in mind, Amanda wasn't doing well earlier this year. Back in March, we saw her out and about in Hollywood completely nude and having a psychiatric break, which she did go and get help for, which I totally respect. Like, if you are not doing well, go and get the help you need. Amanda remained in the mental health facility for three weeks before being released, but she then was detained by cops and placed back on psychiatric hold in June after being deemed a danger to herself and those around her. When she was 5150'd by police back in June, her team told the media that she was going to be in there for a while that they didn't know when she was going to get out she really needed to focus on her mental health we have seen some photographs of amanda here and there but we haven't really seen much until this latest podcast and i want to make something very clear because i was a little bit confused at first so you guys know she had a terrible relationship with a guy named paul well this man like proposed to her supposedly got her pregnant and then she maybe was forced to get rid of her baby there's a lot of questions we have around that situation paul wasn't a great guy for her at the end of the day i mean they met when they were in like a sober living like halfway house situation so they both were kind of going through it and they both like i guess pulled each other's strings and made each other worse well this guy on her podcast who is the dog killer that we're focusing on today his name is paul as well so i'll make it very clear if we're speaking about her former fiance or if we're speaking about dog killer Paul. Now the podcast that Amanda Bynes is doing, it doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I guess she's interviewing people. We're not really hearing much about herself and what she's gone through and what's going on in life. She just like kind of like sits there with her phone, which I'm, you know, I'm proud of her for doing something new and trying to get back on the scene, but it is just a little bit awkward to watch. I tried to watch it. I did watch some of it, but she was like just holding her phone, just kind of like awkwardly asking questions, and she didn't really seem sure of herself. While Paul, her right-hand man, he was kind of like running the show. Amanda Bynes is back in the spotlight after years of being away because she's got a new podcast out, and the first episode features her playing the role of a host slash interviewer. The ex-child star was placed in a conservatorship for years before it came to an end in 2022. This is a new media venture for Amanda alongside her friend named Paul Simoninsky. Now, I did know this podcast was coming because back in November, Amanda started posting on social media again and teasing that she was going to be having this show with her friend who is a, a scientist. Allegedly. We'll get to that part too. He's not only a dog killer, but also lying about his education. Me and Paul Semensky are working on a podcast. Um, it's super impressive that Paul is going to be a part of it because he's a scientist and a biochemist. So having his beautiful mind being a part of this podcast is just going to bring it to another level, I think, because he's going to ask great questions. And I think he'll kind of carry most of the weight in terms of topics of conversation like whenever he and I talk on the phone or I see him in person he's always um just so interesting and I cannot wait for him to co-host the podcast with me 
a lot of people had criticism about Amanda's appearance. I'm not really going to comment there. I mean, she's gone through so much. Let her live. I'm glad she's just free and okay and not out on the streets running around having a psychotic break. So, I mean, her appearance is the last of my worries. And if you guys are wondering, where can I go and see this podcast? It's actually on Spotify. And in her first episode, she and Paul interviewed a tattoo artist named Dahlia Moth, who met the hairspray actor at a speed here at Halloween store a few years prior. Let's take a quick look at what her podcast is about and then we'll get into her co-host's past because this man is problematic. Hi everyone, welcome to Amanda Bynes and Paul Semensky the podcast. Today we are welcoming Dahlia Moth on our show. Hi everyone. <laughs> nice. Hello everybody. Hi, I am Paul and welcome to our beautiful guest Dahlia. Our beautiful guest, Dahlia. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I usually, I describe myself as a friendly person, easy to get along with, but I can tell when I see someone, I'm like, I don't think I'll get along with them. That's totally this guy. And also hearing about his past, like I have way too much empathy for animals to be doing some Satan, like ritual stuff. I'm not I don't, lying about your like education. Like people are going to figure it out. Like, have you not seen the whole George Santos? Like, please, I just can tell I would not get like, I wouldn't be able to talk to him for more than a few seconds because he's just giving me the exact opposite of how I function as a person. And now he's being accused publicly by a former friend and roommate of allegedly lying about being a scientist and killing his roommate's dog. Now let's listen to Paul's victim tell their story and give us some insight on who he is because there's not a lot of public record. He's not like a celebrity like Amanda Bynes is. I wanna thank everyone who watched the first episode of the podcast. Listen, we need to get this out there. The guy that Amanda has made this podcast with is not a scientist. He's claiming to her that he's a scientist. He is my old roommate. He is a sociopath. He had lied to me, said he was a scientist for like over seven years. We were friends. I would be his cat sitter and dog sitter when he would go out of town for over seven years. Um, and then one day we moved in together. I He's been on disability for over four years for being a danger to society. He only gets that because of his father, who is a very powerful lawyer. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Maybe his dad will have to talk to my lawyer, depending on how he reacts to this. Together, I went out of town, and he sacrificed my dog's life, unalived him, to a blood moon or something. <sighs> and then deleted all the footage, and then lied about it for months and months and months, and then um, left, like literally went outside for a cigarette, and left the moment that I got into the security footage, because he knew there was videos of him doing it on there. This is a dog that he bought. <laughs> he stole my money. I didn't know that at the time, but yeah, he bought this dog and literally left her. Okay. There's a lot to unpack there and you can kind of hear the pain in her voice when she spoke about that dog being sacrificed. I mean, imagine like I love my dog so much. Imagine like someone like sacrificing her like for what? For a religion that they like I I respect everyone's religion as long as it doesn't take away from someone else's personal life and you using religion to justify sacrificing a poor dog is not okay like if you want to go and do your little like satan stuff go do it alone in your corner don't bring other people in but let's talk about this scientist situation because some people in the comments are going to his linkedin profile and calling out the fact that he does have an education in science but she clarified that he never worked as a scientist like yeah you got the degree and honestly this person's arguing that yeah like if you got the degree he's a scientist personally in my opinion like scientist is a very like particular job and you learn a lot while doing that like if you have an education in science then okay maybe you can like teach it but like actually actively practicing like it's just confusing anyways she's clarifying that like once he graduated ucla and that's where she met him he then went on disability because he is a danger to society was it Amanda locked up in June because she was deemed a danger to society? So two dangers to society together doesn't sound great. Honestly, that sounds like a better podcast name. Right now, it's like the Amanda and Paul like podcast. Like they should just call it like danger to society, which I know that's like, I'm not trying to be shady. I just actually kind of like that name. Like maybe I'll need to use that for a 
future project. But this TikToker says that she did file a police report against Paul, but remember, Paul's father is a lawyer and has been protecting him and forcing her to stay silent. She said this all went down back in April 2022, at least when he killed her dog. We tried to file charges, but he buried the dog. So I guess it's the same as a murder case. Like if you don't have a body, you can't press a charge. I'm surprised that he wouldn't tell her where she buried the dog. She continued, his father has threatened me and my family and his father is a very powerful lawyer in Philadelphia. Honestly, like lawyers aren't that powerful. Trust me, once you get a good one on your side. I'll explain what his father did to me in a video. He came into the house while my 14 year old sister was showering and threatened her naked and said that she, the comment cuts off there, but then she goes on saying that he's absolutely insane for doing this, like he wouldn't get caught. And if she needs to go somewhere to vent, she's always welcome to come and do an interview on my channel. She can share her story. And it seems like she has real beef with Paul's father, saying that his father is just as guilty, if not worse, in her eyes. I guess because, like, it does seem like his father really did step in to erase everything. So there was no justice for her puppy. And she's out here dropping their full legal name. So that's a lot. And because she is putting all this information out there, other people are digging. And we found some interesting information in the comments about this family. So it actually turns out that Paul is more than just a lawyer. He's actually used his power as a lawyer to go and work with companies like WordPress and Tumblr. So he has like the responsibility of overseeing all of their legal matters, which is a big role for companies like that. Now, some people have asked what's Amanda's thoughts on this and they've been tagging her, but I guess someone saw a comment where like Amanda said, like not to believe someone else's like video. But this girl explains that she has had emotional distress. She has like suffered pain because of this man. I mean, she knew him for seven years and he lied about being a scientist like i feel like you could just i mean we don't even need to talk about her life and anything we could just talk about her interactions with this guy and it sounds like an entire season of a scary show now this tiktok went viral it had like 700 000 views i'm sure it has way more at this point which good i'm glad that people are paying attention to it but amanda and her team are now deleting comments trying to ignore it all people are even tagging the girl who was interviewed in that podcast and they're just deleting all the comments from their YouTube video. Oh my gosh, someone even commented me. They want to have her. <gasps> Look, wait, maybe um, we reach out to her. It's him. Wait, wait okay, wait, hold on. So someone said, uh, like, okay, there's a YouTuber named Sloan does a lot of coverage on these types of situations. Hopefully he sees this. <gasps> Thank you. I'll reach out to her. Well, it is him, but I would be happy to interview them and hear what they have to say because that is like so traumatizing like it's not only like a horrific story but it's also like a big learning situation because i don't know like even the people you thought you could trust like <laughs> they're over here doing like what rituals you have a safe space on my platform. You are more than welcome to do an interview with me if you'd like to. Hopefully we can make that happen, but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I, I don't i just i'm disturbed. I'm disappointed in Amanda too. Like but clearly she's lost and clearly this guy has been lost for a very long time and there's not much you could do there. So we're going to keep up with it and hopefully there's justice for this pub. That is, and I hate when people use their legal power. It's like, ugh, I'll use all my YouTube power then. But until next time, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.